got the new G2 flying today. And, uh, got us leaned out to 9.7 gallon, gallons per hour at uh, 2730 on the engine RPM. 7,500 at minus 8 Celsius, which is 27.3 Fahrenheit on the insight. So I'm going to take the data off the SD card and uh, put it up on the savvy free account see what it says. I did do a little bit of carb heat just to see at, uh, right now my carb temperature is at 24 degrees. And that's Fahrenheit. That's well below freezing. And uh, if I compare it to outside, it's 28 degrees outside, 24 in my carb, so it's about 4 degrees colder. I just bring up the carb heat just a little bit. I can see a slight noticeable change in my EGTs. Uh, fuel flow goes up a little bit, about 0.3. And the temperature went up about 2 degrees. So that might just be enough to clear out some carb ice uh, in the uh, unlucky chance, I suppose. Uh, 9.8, uh, 9.7 gallons per hour. Now this is the first time, so I'm going to compare on my fuel fills of a full tanks and see if I'm uh, burning more or less versus the K factor, then I'll adjust that. I'll go into the uh, Insight uh, menu and adjust the K factor. Uh, it's a partly cloudy day here over the Cascades. I climbed up here for smooth conditions and it is smooth up here. Uh, Maple Valley there down below right hand side. All right, so we got the uh, True TAC 2 uh, op optical engine TAC. 2750 there and 2750 there on my uh, engine TAC itself. The Insight monitors carb air temperature, gallons per hour, ETT, CHT, OAT, and volts DC. So we, since we had to take the fuel system apart to insert the new fuel cube, I wanted to do a flight yeah, test. I'll just go through a couple of pages here. So this is the red bar I can adjust how much I want to see uh, more or less. Push it again to uh, set degrees lean to peak. Now this is a carbureted engine, no no fuel injection, so there's no lean to peak. Uh, we just lean for smoothness. And uh, that's what I did. Uh, there's some other pages here. We got uh, one to check all the probe uh, continuity. Uh, we got a fuel page right there. I topped it off with 46 usable, showing 41.5 uh, remaining. Uh, flow rate is 9.5. Uh, 9. Uh, one more page over, and uh, I go back to my main page. There we go. So the number on each uh, cylinder head temp is the uh, fuel flow where it went lean a peak, where it went, I guess I should say, max EGT. Number four is a little funky, it's showing 12.9. Uh, you see number five has not gone, it's still rich. And number two is still rich, so they never really hit lean. If I come out just a little bit more on the mixture, there it goes, you can see it just, it just got a little rough, so we don't want to run it, run it rough. We want to go for a max RPM for smoothness. There we go. So that's at uh, 9.2. That's uh, less than I had before. And RPMs dropped a little bit to 2706. So we hit 2740. I'm just going to go back to 9.7. And watch my engine RPM peak at about... Yeah, the engine RPM went back up to 2730 now, so it'll go back to 2740. So as long as I'm watching my engine RPM, my EGTs are staying below where I was at cruise. I was at 1608 uh, EGT and cruise are my hottest one. And if I'm keeping it below 2800, I'm not exceeding that at all. You do want to respect carb ice on these Franklins because the uh, throat of the carburetor sits kind of low below uh, where all the heat is. I didn't do a uh, ignition test, which he talks about. I'll do that on another flight. That's uh, 10 minutes on one mag, uh, back to both. 10 minutes on the other. It's a, it's a stress test. To, See how well the combustion manages it on one uh, magneto. 
I haven't touched the mixture in the descent, but the EGTs have not gone any higher. The uh, Insight monitor took uh, one mechanic who has done plenty of them. Uh, four days. Four full days. Um, a lot of details. A lot of crimping. There's at least 24. No, let me pick that up. There's uh, 12. Uh, plus four. So there's like 16 crimps. Make it all connect, you know, and then wiring and routing and up the, taking out the old fuel flow and we had to troubleshoot a fuel flow issue. It didn't work quite well the first time. I think with a fixed pitch prop, the power reductions that come normally will keep all your EGTs where they need to be. Like Washington traffic. So in my opinion, kilo alpha there's no need to bring the mixture rich out until you're ready to land for a go around possibility. There's really no need for that. Inqua, uh, traffic extensions overhead, doing a wind check, uh, Inqua. I haven't really touched the throttle, it's already back to 2500 because I've lost some airspeed. The air density. EGTs I haven't touched, or mixture I haven't touched, and EGTs of course have come down with the... Uh... Alright, here's uh, the new lookout, they just put this up last June. Lookout peak I think they call it. All right, I want to bring the power back to about 2,000 RPM. Add just a pitch of carb heat. All right, gas is on fuller tank. Intercloud traffic stints is turning left base, landing west, Intercloud. All right, we can bring in one notch. A little gusty. All right, there's full flap, gas undercarriage mixture. I want to do a little bit of a slip here. Uh, get path and my airspeed done. There's clipping. Inukwa traffic extensions final landing west. Inukwa. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'll take it out. Yep, my, a little bit of right crosswind down there. So I'm on the right runway. Talk now. Alright, we can dump the power now. And it's a shallow flare. Right about there. Check angle, check angle, oh. check angle, check, check. And she's still flying, so you gotta hang on to it. Don't let it don't don't relax one second. Tail's planted. Check a little bit to the right. Alright, looks good. Uh, car was about 65 on final. I kind of peeked at it. Get off. Eight o'clock traffic stints. It's going to back taxi. Flaps are up. Mixtures leaned. They're right. Clear left. Lights are on. Thanks for joining me. Let me just look at some numbers here. All right. It says 7.2 used. All right. Have a good day, everybody.